An Osceola County teen who's been unresponsive in a medically induced coma since a car accident on the turnpike is showing a lot of improvement and he's even talking. West Chu's Osceola County Bureau reporter Megan Mulatto spoke to his parents and she is joining us live in Kissimmee tonight. Megan, how's he doing? Yeah, we're told by his parents that he went from not responding at all to now giving his friends high fives and blowing kisses. His mom says that she was even able to take him outside for some fresh air for the very first time. Christina and Ed Verdicia say their 16-year-old son Jacob was in the backseat of a car with friends when the driver lost control on the turnpike earlier this month. They say Jacob wasn't wearing a seatbelt and that the crash left him in a medically induced coma with brain injuries. He He'd been unresponsive in the hospital, but Sunday, they say he opened his eyes, started moving his hands, responding to commands, speaking and smiling. It's like we just we just had a brand new baby being born. It was yeah, great. It really was. Uh, you know, it was very happy. He had a lot of friends here from his basketball team yeah. and the St. Cloud community. They came to visit him, and we're glad that it happened when they were here. So they were able to experience the same thing. It was a great feeling. Verdicia has had tremendous support since the accident. His parents shared this photo with us of the community gathering for a vigil outside his hospital room. Then this past weekend, his high school's football team showed their support at Friday night's game with signs, a moment of silence, and Jacob Strong bracelets. This photo is of the wall inside his hospital room. The signs are reminding him of how loved and supported he is. When he was awake, he saw all the posters that the girls had made him at school and yeah. we hung them up on the wall. He was like pointing at them and it was great. Now, the Verdicias tell me that results they just got back from a CT scan show even further improvement. They say the next step is moving to a different floor, then to therapy. Their message to the community is still to always wear a seatbelt. Live in our Osceola County Bureau, Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.